I was born and and then I was raised in Beeston. Okay. When I was ten, we moved to Selston, which is a village in Nottinghamshire. Yeah, that's quite a move. Yeah. In Nottinghamshire terms. Yeah, it's like past Eastwood. But it wasn't like it was a bungalow in a. Vi- I'd never seen a cow before. <laughs> I remember first seeing a cow and thinking that was mad. What I was used to in Nottingham was more multicultural. Yeah. But there was none of that, obviously, in Selston. When I was 18, 19, I moved back into Nottingham. Because I had my mum's record collection, which I was always into. And to be honest, that's all I listened to. And, and Gem AM, it was called. My mum's radio would have Gem AM on. So that was, all I heard was Gem AM. Never listened to Radio 1, nothing like that. And my mum's record collection, which went from ABBA, Beatles, Rolling Stones. Your mum's got quite a diverse record collection. You know, I always thought, oh, right, yes, you know, she's diverse. But the reason being is because if you think about it, they were the pop hits of the day. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Dillinger yeah. was like a big band then. UB40, um, Altonellis, Bob Marley. That was, whereas now, she, she loves Peter Andre. <laughs> Suburban thing of Beast until about ten. Then you got in the countryside. You listening to Gem. You listening to your mum's record. And then Oasis came out. When, when Oasis hits. I went on holiday, and that song um, "Free to Do Whatever I Want." I'm free yeah. to do it. I remember that came out, and then I started like to listen to Radio One, and that was it. Indie, indie, and so then all of a sudden, because I was listening to Definitely Maybe and What Story Morning Glory, the Jimi Hendrix record my mum had made sense. Yeah. Whereas before, I didn't get it. I didn't like it. And the only Beatles songs I liked was like <coughs> the Paul McCartney ones, basically, which I now know, Paul mm-hmm. McCartney ones. I didn't get I Am The Walrus and that. But once, once I got into Oasis, I got it. So you've started singing and playing music pretty soon after that Eureka yeah. moment. Yeah, I, uh, yeah, I get this, I need to get involved yeah. with this. The only reason I played guitar, I picked guitar, was because Noel Gallagher said that it was dead easy and everyone could do it. <laughs> and it, and Don't Look Back Home was so amazing. Because I always sang, I always sang for when I was little. I was copied Stevie Wonder, no one got me a Boys to Men CD, Bobby Brown CD, I remember, for Christmas, and then got me Raid 92 at the same time. That was really <laughs> weird. And she used to just go in the shops and say, What would my lad like? And um, so on, I always yeah. sang, but then I was like, I've got to get a guitar. And then we started a band up. And I only... How old are you now? We started a band about 14. Is it still in the countryside? It's yeah. Still still. yeah. When did you start thinking, I'm quite good at this, I might be able to... I always knew I was good at this. singing. So I thought, if I really like it, it must be good. Because I knew what sound, when things were out of tune. But then no one else... I didn't go and sing. I just sang at home in, in the shower. And nobody would ever go, oh, you sound good or anything like that, just because it was just singing. It's just what my mum sang in the kitchen. Yeah. And then I started doing school plays, and, the, and I'd always get the singing bit, so then I knew I was good then. And then I started the band, and my teacher really, a couple of teachers really pushed me, oh, you're good at, mu- you're good at singing, you're good at music, you should do it. And like, I remember the first song I ever wrote was with Mr. Keeley. He did a whole thing like for a month where in the English class you had to write a song mm-hmm. and we just felt that he was doing that for us or something, it was mad. And I still got it and it's called Self Esteem, that song. And it sounds just like an Oasis song. You can take me down
my twenties. So then, twenties were spent in Snenton, mainly. Snenton, Carrington, say So these are all in and around Nottingham city centre. You've left the land of the cows, moved into Hood Town. Yeah. When the first blood get involved, when did you start doing? Uh, I got so I was at college. I was at Carrington College, and and then I got a job at Domestic and General. Which was, I think it's called Inkfish now. Many is it not, still there? I think it is. Yeah, many Nottingham residents have, have done the B and G thing. That was it. If you was a musician in two thousand and one, two thousand, two thousand one, two thousand two, you worked there, basically. You mentioned eight years, as in that's how long you've been doing music professionally. Well, yeah, because I knew I was going to get a record deal. And I knew it was that it was going to happen. Not because, you know, times are different now. You know. Mm-hmm. Like, obviously now, it's not the main focus. I don't think it should be the main focus of any band now to get a deal. Because there's so much you can do without a label, in it. So, like, when I got to London, I think I worked for a couple of years. Just ducking and diving, how you do. Making a living. Yeah. And, um, and, then, and then, yeah, I got approached. Like, I know, you know, I knew, yeah. You got my you space, wasn't it? Yeah. You've obviously had quite a tough time with labels. Is that something you want to go through and explain, or do you want to? Yeah, I can that? do. Basically, the moral of the story is, in a topic in a nutshell, I signed to a label, um, Polydor, um, that didn't, that had different ideas than me. So I did that, and then I couldn't live with the album, and they then stored and were like, "We don't know what to do." We, f- we think you should do another EP. And like, Amy's just released like two of my EPs. What do you want to do another EP for? Yeah. You can't, we, what, I, so me and my manager just said, take, take me off the label. And they're like, oh, well, we don't want to do that. And my manager at the time was the kind of person that had a very good relationship with certain people. So um, I managed to get out of the contract and still own the recordings. Oh, Which was a major yeah, thing. Should be late. Should be 